like the video and subscribe if you love Roblox. Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video we are here back inside a build a boat once again and today I'm gonna show you guys how you can get your very own working vault inside a build a boat and it actually works like you put in the numbers and it requires like basically like zero like skill at all like you don't actually have to like make a customized vault like, it literally does all the work for you I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in this video and also how you guys can get your own mini game to work on your plot of build a boat for treasure Make sure you guys stay tuned and also make sure you like the video and subscribe but without further ado Let's go ahead and hop straight into the video right, So what you guys actually are going to need to do is you're gonna need two people and I want to give a huge shout out to skeleton for helping me out right here A uh, shout out to mr. Skeleton contributor guy right here. Um, he's looking at me with his uh, uh, His big old eyeballs that are absolutely terrifying. Okay. Anyway, uh, anyways so What you guys actually want to do is start off you want to turn PvP mode on make sure that is on because it is going to be required to do this So we're gonna turn PvP mode on we are then going to grab a chair just like this and with this chair we're gonna sit right here and then we're going to grab a cake you can even use a firework with this it doesn't matter the firework is a free item it basically is gonna work the same so I'm gonna do this I'm then going to grab myself a harpoon just like that and I'm also going to grab myself a staff and I want to give a huge shout out to fluffy for actually showing me this terrain moving glitch right here we're then going to grab a harpoon equip our staff shoot uh, the staff right there with the uh, tip of our harpoon and then we're good to go so now we're actually already set up a portal inside of the RB battles room here so what you guys want to do is you can set one up it makes life 10 times easier you got to put one inside of here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna shoot the vault it's like literally the entire vault uh, right there all right and then I'm going to break the cake and I'm going to run back over to my plot here all right and then skeletons gonna have two portals set up okay he's gonna make sure that they're far away from each other and this is where you actually are going to want to place the vault so put the portal wherever you want the vault to be so you guys will see here if the skeleton drops this one on me the vault's actually going to appear right where this portal is at so skeleton you want to actually move this portal closer yeah there you go closer to the ground there we go all right so then what skeleton's going to want to do he's going to want to grab a blue ice potion this is what your friend or whoever's helping you out is going to want to use he's going to grab a blue ice potion i'm going to go underneath the portal he's going to throw it at me he's going to unanchor the portal or make it drop and i'm going to grab my staff right here bam space bar just like this and then well bam you guys will see right there all right we have the vault code so um now we actually we have a working vault on the ground now i'll show you guys how this works here in just a second actually we'll, we'll just show you right now so if we type in seven seven and then nine eight just like this this will actually open up it has sound effects and everything check this out it's gonna it's about to open there we go guys literally a working vault you can use now this actually gets 10 times as cooler because we can actually customize this to do literally whatever we want All right, you guys can see we have now made ourselves our very own vault here. So I'm actually going to turn up my audio so you guys can actually hear this. So here we go. We now have a vault made. Now, like I said, you guys can design this however much you want. Obviously, the vaults you guys make are going to be 10 times more detailed. You could literally put this thing inside of a bank. You could do it anywhere else. This is just a little template to show you guys how you can customize this to do whatever you want. Here we go. You guys can see. Also, this is indestructible. There's no way this thing can break, even if you have PvP mode on no cannon can actually break this vault which kind of serves the purpose of a vault it's completely unbreakable because it's not actually your blocks it's the game's blocks but check this out so now if we type in seven seven nine eight just like this you guys can see oh there it goes right here this is it all right let's see how this looks dude uh oh blocks are actually in the way so you guys can see you can't actually attach like blocks to it like to the sides you could probably do it extremely close but not in the way so when you actually customize your own vault to make sure that it actually is not touching the door at all because like I said like you guys will see it'll actually leave behind this part of it um so it'll just look like uh like just the code itself moves but now that we have nothing attached to it you guys will see let's see if it actually turns no way it turns with that block right there's no way Let let's see what happens 
Oh, this is gonna be interesting. You guys can see right there, skeleton just broke it right there. So that thing's actually gonna stay put, but the vault will stay there. So if skeleton were to remove that block, and it's gonna go right back. So like I said, when you guys build it, so for example, we could go like this, and we could build it like this. Um, there we go. That's not touching at all. And oh, oh, okay. Skeleton. All right, guys. So skeleton said that you can build around it, just not on it. Is that is that correct, skeleton? Did I say that right? So like basically, if you activate it, then you can build around the door and then it'll all come back together and close normally so basically you want to open it first build around it and then from there it'll close and everything should be fine so now if we do seven seven nine eight once again it all just one piece out of the wall with with everything on it i, I hope oh uh, there we go yeah you guys can see right there and you can have collision turned um uh, like the collision doesn't matter you guys can have your own vault right there and it's honestly pretty cool but there is a downside to this i'll just show you guys what it looks like uh, um you know inside Inside of, inside of those secret rooms so you guys can see if we go right through this door um you can see there's just no vault at all through this door there's just absolutely no vault so i mean at least you unlock it and uh, you know people can go through it for free i guess so and then it'll actually lead you to the portal room right here so they, we literally just took the portal off the not the portal the um vault off the wall but there's also another cool secret you guys can do inside of this room that we have not actually shown in any videos just yet so we're gonna go in and show it to you guys right now because it is pretty cool right, guys so this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my harpoon i've done everything the normally the same how i would and let's jump up here all right hold on let me go like this uh turn collision off on this hold on let me just jump up here all fast all right collision back on so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm going to harpoon the seat all right yes yeah, so you guys heard that right i'm gonna harpoon the seat of this little game right here and you guys will see what's about to happen oh whoops all right so i'm going to delete the cake oh oh my gosh all right let's go over here now and we're gonna go underneath it so we're gonna do the exact same thing he's gonna throw it at me and then he's gonna drop it on top of my head and i'm going to grab the wand fan the space bar and then here we go all right we've got the seat guys that little piece right there is the seat to the mini game and you guys are about to witness what happens if you actually sit on that thing so here we go guys we now are should have a full like teleportation over there uh check this out here we go if i go like this oh my gosh wait that's actually so sick oh my gosh this little it looks like a balloon skeleton go ahead go ahead and try it out go see what it's like it like is so fast that's honestly insane and you can actually play the game from your plot by the way so i mean that, that's pretty cool like wh why not why wouldn't you just want to have your own mini game like just to access at any moment in Skeleton just completed <laughs> no, way. no way. He just completed it. Bro, what? What are the odds, bro? Oh my gosh. He just completed the game from a white team, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I got that on video. But you guys can see right there, there are some crazy things you guys can do. Now, I've already tested, me and Skeleton already tested taking apart the screen. That does not work. I do not recommend doing that because it's like piece by piece. But um, that's pretty much the only thing two things you can actually do inside that rb battles area is basically move the seat and also the vault door the portal does not move we tried pretty much everything the only two cool things but like really cool is this seat and also the vault door so hopefully you guys find this very very interesting if you did find it interesting make sure you guys like the video and subscribe turn on that notification bell and i'll see you guys all later peace out and goodbye